We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today, we're going to be having a look at the... I'm sure it's called the, the Jaw uh, by If Mods. Uh, now, little story for you. Uh, some time ago, I think oh, about a year ago, maybe, uh, I had a conversation in my Facebook group because I came across a modder that was operating, operating out of China, a Chinese modder, and he was making uh, some exquisite mods. I mean, you really, I mean, they were stunning, really were stunning. But the price he was charging was in line with uh, a lot of the the other laddie da modders that you see around the gro the, gro the globe the globe oops um so we had a little conversation about it and how do you feel about it because obviously everybody associates china with um cheap gear that's just the way it works uh, and the, the, the kind of the common consensus was that it doesn't matter where a machine shop or where a modder is or lives it's the quality of work that they put out that's all that matters. It doesn't matter where somebody is, it's the quality of work. A year later, or thereabouts, I now have one of these mods in my grubby little mitts. Uh, this is the, the, there's different models that he does, uh, but this is the, the C-frame one, the, the jaw, the jaw uh, I think it's called, and it's single 18650, it's a Yeehee uh, 485, a 100 watt mod, and this is stunning, absolutely stunning. The machining on this, uh, the threading, um, the, the construction is superb. Let's do some close-ups. So this is the box that my one arrived in. Uh, and I, I think this might be, I think this was kind of rushed out to get me to me for review that not the mod but the but the box uh, I think the the final one the one you get may be a tiny little bit different but uh, if we open this up it's just hinged here and you get cop a load of that <laughs> it's gorgeous so inside you're going to get uh, your battery cap uh, you're going to get a 24 and a 22 mil 510 catch cup arrangement and and these are actually threaded here uh, all the stainless steels 316 stainless steel but uh, we're going to come back to these in a minute i just want to show you the mod off first so the one i have here is it's an american ironwood i think is is the wood now as far as the mod goes there are three different versions uh, you have a regular version which and this is the sculpture version so the regular version is 499 dollars and this one is 599 the difference being is that you can see See that cut that going round the back there? How it's sculpted? Whereas the regular one is just, you know, it's just rounded off. It's just like your 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 old C frame, if you like. Uh, but the sculpted one is a hundred dollars more. They also work with other materials. Um I, I've seen ones where all the C frame and everything has all been hand engraved. Uh hours and hours of work gone into it, uh, Juma all hand engraved round here and those ones go for, well, for well over a thousand dollars but the hours of labour that goes into them is insane. Uh, but this is the one that I have here. So starting down the bottom we have our battery cap. Uh, it takes a single 18650, battery goes in positive up. There are no indicators or anything there to tell you which way it goes, but it is positive up. The threading in here is top notch. It's amongst the, the best I've come across for putting on a bat. I mean, really, this drops in every time and is buttery, buttery smooth. Uh, the machining on this is stellar. Uh, it really is. Uh, I've been using this for about a week and a half now and it, it's it's not been babied and it's holding up well. Now it's a, a Yeehee board that's in here. Uh, it's the 485 I do believe. Uh, I'll put a battery in in a minute and show it off. You've got the old joystick down here, USB and your firing button which is the same wood and it's nice and clicky. No issues with that at all. Uh, but what we have up here is our 510 uh, and the way it works is you take your, your catch cup that you're wanting to use and you just screw that down on there like that 
take it down and then grab your atty. I'll just grab my uh, scrape enduro here and then just thread this down. Now obviously the 510 is not spring loaded uh, but it doesn't matter because you've got the, the catch cup here uh, and so you only have to go down till you feel it making a contact and that's you. Job done. You know, if there is any gap there, it's going to be hidden. So that is how the 510 works on this one. I've had no issues with this binding. Once again, the threading on this is superb. <laughs> it really is superb. Uh, but the, what I really wanted to show you, and this is where it gets kind of clever. There's something about taking a $600 mod apart on a bit of slate. It really does put the willies up you. Yeah. But um, here we go anyway. So, this bit here should unthread. And I'm not sure if you can hear that, but take that back. The threading is tremendous, it really is. So this comes off like that. Uh, you'll then see that you've got a couple of holes here. Uh, now, yeah, obviously, Possibly you don't want to do this at home, but because I'm uh, an idiot in a shed with all the wrong tools, uh, I I'm going to go for this anyway. So I've got cir uh, circlet pliers here which seem to do the job, uh, but I'll just back this off. There we go, that's taken the tightness off of that. So then we just unscrew this piece here. A really clever design. There's no glue. You know, there's no glue in this at all. In fact, there's only two tiny little grub screws holding the, the whole assembly together. Uh, so we've got here these two little guys here. You don't get uh, the tools to do this. It just so happens that uh, I do have these, the proper tools lying about. So these are tiny, tiny little grub screws. Uh, be very, very careful with them. You don't want to lose them. Uh, and then just back this one off as well and then I should if I remember how this works I'm doing this back to front you see the frames coming apart here this just pulls out and there you go and the battery tube and everything just slides up and, and that's you that's your, your mod apart and you can see that this is how this is machined uh, there is a bit of CNC going on uh, and uh, there's some a lot of hand finishing going on as well but the soldering um, the, well, it's all done very very well but I best put this back together because um, yes uh, when you're putting it back together you want to make sure you get everything tight uh, if you do find you've got any gaps or anything like that it's because this bit here needs tightened up properly to to pull the two the top and the bottom together uh, but um, yeah dead easy to take the bits this thing so I'm just threading everything back together I've tightened everything up and just putting this back down Throwing a, a molly cell in here, single 18650 battery cap, and that's just going to pop on there like that. And if you've ever seen me doing reviews with these battery caps, you know I always screw it up. But this one, the, I cannot stress how nice the threading is on this. I'm going to use the Dwarf. Uh, this is the brand new Dwarf. This is the, the FL. This is the direct lung version, but it's the FL. Um, and it just looks... This is, yeah, the, the, the mod kind of does, I don't have to say much more about this, it, it, it speaks for itself, but uh, here we go, five clicks, there we go, we get the Fmods logo coming up there, and we should launch into the, the 485 board, here we go, and I'm not going to go through this, uh, it has been out for a very long time this one, and I'm kind of hoping most of you know how it works. For those of you that don't, it's, it's a 100 watt mod. It's a 100 watt mod, single 18650, firing away there. Uh, if you're anything like me, uh, I'm back to front here, but uh, this is kind of what I do. I don't use temp control. Uh, I don't use the memory settings or anything. I just push the joystick over to the side here and I pop it into novice mode and that's nice and easy for me. I'm just in plain old wattage mode, up and down the wattage and that'll do me nicely. So push the button there and I can go up and down, push the fire button and that's me good. If I want just push it back to the left again for another three seconds and we're back into here. If you want to adjust the brightness you can push the joystick up the way if I remember right. You can adjust the brightness that way. Um, 
you can go into temp mode, you can, yeah, you've got all the bells and whistles that you're used to with the Yeehee Ye -He board. If you're wanting more details on it, I'll put a, a link in the description to the online manual. So just going on the, the height of the mod itself, from the, the very base here to the top of the, the catch cup here, it's about 78, 79 millimetres in height. At its widest, it comes out about 40 mil out to the widest point here. And once again, you can get a 24 mil atty on here, or a 22 using the 22 mil cup. Now hopefully you saw the quality of this mod. And once again, this is made in China but it doesn't matter where something is made. It's the quality of the machining, it's the product at the end and how well it's made. And this is, yes, this um, this is it's a $599 mod. Uh, yes, you will have to buy it through a Facebook group. Yes, you will have to put down a 50% deposit as soon as you pick your mod. They do do uh, waffles, you know, where they'll have like 20 slots uh, where people pay, you know, X amount and if you're into that kind of thing, they will do that as well. Uh, they have their other mods as well. It's it's not just this one, you know, and I think I'll try and find a photo and pop that up. So yeah, that, that's what it's all about. It's, it's, but it's, I am kind of taken aback. I mean, I've always said for a long time now that I don't care where something is made. Hell, I mean, I mean I've got my RTA coming with Van and Dell. It's been made in Hong Kong, which is China. So, yeah, I would be a hypocrite if I said anything else. But this is just done it, it, so, so well. It really is. Um, it's a C-frame. I love C-frames. I always have. But this is a cute little C-frame. It's just the wood is done oh so well. Uh, it really has done very well. The only, I had an issue, uh, I'll be completely upfront. The mod itself, the the way it was presented, the finishing, not one blemish on it. Uh, however, after about a week of using it, I did notice that I had a gap appear between the wood and the top of the C-frame here. Uh, I got in touch with the guys uh, and they basically said to me that it's just the cap in here that has possibly come loose and it needs a little nip up. And that's what I did. Uh, the thing that I used my circlet pliers for, um, I just gave that a little tighten up and it brought it all together and, and it's bang on now. And that's another thing I really like about this. I love the way it's constructed. Uh, the way that the actual wood has been held into the C-frame with you know the two part system here and just the two tiny little grub screws up the top. It's very, very clever. Very clever. All the soldering, spot on, no issues there. Uh, I'll have a vape. You've got the 22mm catch cup and a 24mm catch cup as well, don't forget that. Um, and, and that is kind of about all I have to say on this one. One little note that I will add about the wood. Uh, when they get the block, they actually, they, what they say, and I'm going to read directly from what, what they, they gave me here. They don't use the wood until it reaches working condition in order to better match the C-framed metal frame and prevent wood deformation. Uh, the production requirements of the Jew are more stringent. They will cut holes and grooves in the wood and leave it for 15 to 30 days to see how it deforms or if there's any shrinkage or warpage in the wood. Then when the stress relief is completed, that's when they start working on it. Uh, they'll then finish it off with, they'll polish it from 7,000 to 10,000 mesh and wax it. Uh, and, and yes, I'm going to stop because I'm really, really impressed with this. Uh, I've always loved C-frames since zeros and all the rest of it. Um, elemental mods, the 26650 C-frames, but this is a stunner. It's very, very well made and, and I tip my hat to them for that one. It's caught me off guard. Yes, it's not cheap. It's made in China, but I reckon you get what you pay for. There you go. Uh, thank you to If Mods for sending this on. If you're at all interested, head over to the Facebook page, have a look, see what they have available there. Uh, but once again, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you like this as much as I do. I really do. Uh, but uh, 
we shall catch you next time. Bye for now.